The Honor Magic 5 Ultimate, by far the best Honor flagship, is currently only available in China. So the phone I'm holding is a China variant, which means the software is slightly different from Honor phones available outside of China. On the Honor Magic 5 Ultimate, there is no Google service. On the other hand, it's a device from a former Huawei brand. In addition to the Honor account, you can access cloud features by logging into your Huawei ID on the phone. Except for the new luxury design, the Ultimate model is identical to the Magic 5 Pro. If the premium hardware suite and impressive camera kit of the Ultimate entice you, the global version of the Magic 5 Pro with full Google service readiness is a great alternative. However, if you are drawn to its distinctive design, you will be disappointed to learn that it does not work with Google. The Magic 5 Ultimate is the most fashionable premium phone I've seen this year. I like how it keeps the design details on the back cover, which not only provides a stylish and recognizable design but also improves the grip. The leather-like pattern is striking, with elegant lines and dimensionality beneath the camera module. Beginning with the Magic 4 Ultimate, the camera module in the series is no longer round, but rather an octagonal curved glass design with a triple lens structure. It's also worth noting that, compared to the Magic 4 Ultimate's 242 grams weight, the 5 is 217 grams, with the body thickness reduced from 9 mm to 8.7 mm. So it's pretty obvious that the Magic 5 Ultimate is not that bulky and it feels much better than its predecessor. Surprisingly, the battery's capacity has been increased to 5,450 mAh, despite its smaller size. When we flip it over, we can see that the front face is quite stunning, a 6.81-inch LTPO OLED curved screen with extremely thin bezels. The 12-megapixel selfie camera and TOF 3D system for face scanning are housed in the pill-shaped cutout in the top left corner. The edges of the Magic 5 Ultimate display are not particularly curved, so it looks great. No edge is too distorted, and the grip is adequate, but adding a case makes it less satisfying. The display has a 460 ppi density, a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate, a 10-bit color depth, and HDR10 Plus support. As a result, it appears to be on par with other premium phones. Almost all of the 2023 flagship phones increased the frequency of their high-frequency PWM dimming to 1920Hz or higher. The Magic 5 Ultimate is no different. Honor even raises it to 2160Hz. My eyes are actually sensitive to flicker, so I couldn't really stare at a display that didn't fix the flicker issue for very long. But, thankfully, I didn't have to deal with that on the Magic 5 Ultimate in low lighting. The PWM dimming appears to work. Honor, like Huawei, has excellent HDR content management. Even when viewing HDR content in a window, the phone can display the high brightness and vibrant colors required for HDR separately from the rest of the display. The display's manual brightness is adequate, reaching around 750 nit. The full-screen adaptive maximum brightness in bright light and for HDR both exceed 1200 nits, with a 10% HDR window increasing the figure to 1600 nits. That's almost the best Android level. The Magic 5 Ultimate is equipped with three lenses. Let's start with the main camera, which has a nearly 1-inch sensor. Although it doesn't have the largest sensor size yet, I'm pleased with the photos it took with the main camera. The colors are vibrant, the bokeh effect is fantastic, and there is good detail in the highlights and shadows. The experience is so good that as long as you open the camera and press the shutter, you know you'll get a great shot no matter when or where you are. Even in low light conditions, it can precisely control the dynamic range and exposure, so the night photo does not appear to have been taken during the day. When you use the main camera to zoom in, Magic 5 Ultimate automatically switches to high resolution mode to crop. The advantage is that the sharpness will be enhanced to some extent. When you zoom in to 2x, this feature will activate automatically, and you will be able to clearly see the difference between the two photos. Due to the lack of pixel binning in high pixel mode, its exposure and dynamic range are always significantly improved in low light conditions. The physical focal length of the ultra-wide angle camera is 13mm, and the field of view is slightly wider than that of other phones' wide angle lenses. As a result, Honor must address the issue of image quality degradation in the corners. Not only is there a problem with reduced sharpness, but it also has fringing issues. In this case, the red flowers are also oversaturated. 
The wide-angle lens, on the other hand, has many of the same advantages as the main camera, such as excellent dynamic range and exposure control. However, because of the poor image quality at the corners and the difficulty in framing with such a wide field of view, I rarely use it in my daily shooting. Because the wide-angle camera has autofocus, it can also be used as a macro lens. The image quality will be far superior to that of the 2 megapixel macro cameras. The good news for video is that all three lenses support 4K 30 frames per second shooting and switching lenses while recording. The main and telephoto cameras are even better, with the ability to freely switch lenses in 4K 60 frames per second shooting. The bad news is that no 8K recording is available. Furthermore, the 4K clips shot with the wide-angle camera are not as sharp as those shot with the main camera. In terms of performance, I won't go into detail because we've already discussed the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, Qualcomm's most powerful mobile chipset launched in recent years. On phones powered by the 8 Gen 2, everything looks great. The Magic 5 Pro is no exception. The Magic OS, which is based on Android 13, is also surprisingly smooth and responsive. So you don't have to be concerned about the phone's performance. The new Magic Ultimate has a unique graphics chip that improves frame rate in games like Genshin Impact for smooth gaming. So you could play Genshin Impact at a boosted frame rate of 90 frames per second on the Magic 5 Pro. One of the most serious issues with the China variant is the inability to use Google services. In addition to the Honor App Store, Third-party options such as APK Pure and APK Mirror are available for app searching and installation. However, if you rely too heavily on Google services and are unable to accept it, think twice before purchasing the Magic 5 Ultimate China version. Another surprise is the battery life. It has one of the longest battery lives of any premium phone we've ever reviewed. More importantly, it does not become as large as a smartphone. It's almost on par with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Although the charging capacity is not as impressive as the battery life, it does support 66 watt wired and 50 watt wireless charging. A full charge took about 53 minutes using the included charger. So that's all there is to the Magic 5 Ultimate. As a premium phone, its battery and display are unquestionably among the best in the market. And the camera experience it takes pride in is still a welcome bonus. What we didn't mention is that all of the features are housed in a stylish body that is water and dust resistant to IP68 standards.